Hey guys, to US Simile point. Uh, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading more videos on a step three and a step two CK and US Simile step one. Uh, let me start with this Nelson syndrome. Right now, I'm discussing more about the step two CK and a step three. So just I will concentrate more on signs and symptoms, how to diagnose lab test and the treatment. Okay, how the US Simile will test you? They will not give you the exact Nelson syndrome. They divide the questions into two parts. One part they will say the patient had uh, Cushing's disease. Then uh, he got uh, treated. And after a few months, he came back with uh, to the emergency room because of the car accident, right? The car accident. Why car accident? Because of the loss of peripheral vision. So he did not see the pole, and he hit the car with this pole or uh, some other things. This is what exactly you need to remember. So how they test you. So remember, this is adeno. Uh, let me start with the definition: adenocorticotrop. ACTS secreting pituitary microadenoma after therapeutic bilateral adrenalectomy. A patient who has undergone bilateral adrenalectomy, this uh, Nelson syndrome is seen in those patients. With in Nelson syndrome, ACTH is level is increased because of pituitary microadenoma are formed after adrenal bilateral adre, uh, adrenalectomy. Okay, following bilateral adrenalectomy and normalization of cortisol levels that had suppressed hypothalamic CRH production and increase in CRH occurs, which then has a trophic effect on the tumor, stimulating its growth. That's it. Just nothing like uh, doing operation for the tumor and again you are getting the tumor. But the place of the tumor is totally different. Uh, initially it was in the adrenals, because of that you did with the uh, Cushing's disease and you treat, you got. Uh, you did adrenalectomy and after a few months he developed a tumor in the pituitary with this uh, effect of CRH right clinical findings clinical findings remember it is because of the hypopituitarism so there are number of hormones secreted by the pituitary so you need to remember hypopituitarism so try to memorize the all the what you call um, clinical findings due to decrease in those hormones right uh, headache headache can occur um, because of the CSF uh, uh, blockage or uh, diaphragm cell extension because of this you can have headaches so remember headache and hypopituitarism like diabetes insipidus uh, right hyperprolactinoma and everything loss of vision can occur as a result of invasion or compression of visual apparatus this is very important point what you need to remember loss of vision very important bitemporal hemianopia pardon tonopicia or homonymous hemianopia very important points loss of peripheral vision i said you before sometimes they will come after after operation for a after after, after operation for abdominal operation they will come in the emergency room with accident right car accident hitting a car with a pole because they don't see the peripheral they cannot see the peripheral vision right they don't have the peripheral vision that's why they hit the pole she did not see the pole he did not see the pole so he she or he hit the car on the with the pole and got injured so hyperpigmentation of the skin is very important you see hyperpigmentation because of the increased ACTH so it's uh, not limited to only to sun exposed areas remember lab findings ACTH measurement very important is the ACTH measurement there are number of hormones you can test because of hypopituitarism right do for a test for diabetes insipidus like osmo osmolality serum osmolality thyroidism hypothyroidism test for TSH T4 T3 then uh, the blah 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 there are so many tests you can do okay the most important thing what you need to remember is the ACTH measurement treatment how do you treat it very very important the important treatment is adrenal steroid replacement this is very important point you need to remember the other thing is the radiotherapy and the transpinatal surgery is best if the surgery is best he is expert in that he can go ahead with the transpinatal surgery remember this US assembly point what is the most important point what you need to remember about the Nelson syndrome is how do you diagnose a patient had a abdominal 
uh, surgery few months back now he comes to ear with car accident or sometimes other symptoms of hypopituitarism just think of Nelson syndrome okay thank you so much for watching my video thank you